someone can sit and tell me their story and you know, I can understand what they're going through because, you know, I, I face adversity. You know, I, I, I've been in the valley low. Well, I was uh, charged with, uh, charged in violation of revised statute 1430.1, which is um, second degree murder. And the only sentence that uh, you can receive for that, for that crime is a mandatory life sentence. The first morning of being, after being in Angola, I was going to the child, guy jumped out of the line, stabbed another guy in his neck. And I said to myself, you know, I, I, I just couldn't imagine um, a life beginning on such a bad note and, you know, having a life sentence. I just couldn't imagine being in a place like that for the rest of my life. There's a warden now who's, you know, he tells, he tells the prisoners, uh, you know, you're going to die in prison. I never, uh, I never believed that uh, I would die in prison. I had two fears going into prison. I didn't want to die in prison. I didn't want to see my mother die. Uh, unfortunately, my mother died while I was in prison, and I felt like uh, I wasn't going to make it. But uh, I could remember her words, you know, saying, you know, just, you know, fight for what you believe in. And, you know, I, that became, you know, my banner. That became my strength. You know, I've lost a lot in, over those 27 and a half years, but I also gained a lot.